Good morning to Dr. Siegel and my fellow classmates. This is Joe Oliver here and today I'm going to tell you about the role playing scenario I not only developed but practiced last week in my classroom. My subjects for this role play were my senior aeronautic students who are about to learn to land the aircraft and the role playing involves learning the different checkpoints in the traffic pattern exactly where you need to do what. So uh, first thing I did was set it all up before they got to class. There were two roles that the students could play. Uh, they could be an aircraft in the pattern or there's only one air, air traffic controller. Also, there are several checklists, at least two that the students are gonna need to use. For example, they have to complete the landing checklist. There's also a couple items they need to do prior to or during the touch and go and I wrote these on the board to make it a little easier for them. Once I got the classroom set up and the students arrived, uh, I kind of gave them a brief um, explanation of exactly what we'd be doing and I used one student to go ahead and demonstrate what they will be doing themselves. Remember if you want to play left downwind, you're going to turn your downwind and right, then you go fast speed it up some. <laughs> once you get here, November 312, clear, touch and go. Once you get here, when I clear you for touch and go or not, you start your landing checklist and you start descending. Okay. Okay. Try to hold your hand up high. You start your descend, November 312. Fuel select the boat, mixture rich. You don't have to tell the controller that. You're just saying that in the cockpit, right? Fuel select the boat, mixture rich, flaps approach, and you're descending, <laughs> right? Okay. Once you turn final, look at me. Once you turn final, you're going to go full flaps. Right? And then you touch down and you do the touch and you do the touch and go checklist and all of that. Once I felt that the students have had enough demonstration, I designated a few positions and let them have a try at the role play. November 231 clear for touch and go. November 231 clear for touch and go. November 123, turn left across. Both flaps. Fuel selector both mission rich flap. App deer down. November 1, 2, 3, turn left, down. Trim is, trim is the neutral. November 2, 3, go. Fuel selector both, mixture rich, flap approach. November 2, 3, 1, full flap. Turn left, I hope everyone is November paying two, three, attention one, because three, 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 three. you're going to have to be doing this soon for a test, right? So make sure you know the checkpoint. November 1, 2, 3, 1, trim neutral. November 2, 1, turn left down. November 2, 3, 1, turn left downwind. November 2, 1, 3, turn left crosswind. November 2, 1, 3, cleared left crosswind. Turn neutral, both November 2, 1, 3, turn left downwind. November 1, 2, 3, cleared left downwind. Alright, Tyler, you can take off. During the role play, they made many mistakes. However, they improved, and you can see that they were understanding exactly what was going on. This role play scenario lasted about 25 minutes and the following day uh, the students and I we sat down and we debriefed and you know spoke about the experience that we had and you know any changes or recommendations we had for role playing this scenario in the future. Well, I get to play the role of an air traffic controller crashing airplanes and making sure that they, they perform touch and goes correctly. <laughs> what about you, Erin? Did it meet your expectations? <laughs> it was very realistic for me to actually feel that I was in a little circle above the airport learning all the different sayings and everything. So yes, it did meet my expectations. <laughs> <laughs> well, I felt that it was fun and it was a good learning experience. Me too. About you. How did you feel this affected your experience in Iron Crew? I felt that I can understand the pain of a controller's emotions. Yes. So, Tina, what were some of the obstacles that you faced as being the air traffic controller? Well, I get to experience to direct pilots to their destinations and tell them to land when directed. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was painstakingly, it was painstakingly uh, uh, difficult, but I was able to manage it. What about you? What were your obstacles as a pilot? Uh, being stacked up because he wasn't fast enough to tell us where to go. 
I did role playing as a pilot meet your expectations? It did meet my, meet my expectations because uh, now I know like what to do and what to expect from ATC. That's great. Yeah. Thanks, air traffic control. We owe you one. That's yeah. a negative ghost right So Tina, how hard was it to be the ATC? Well, then I gotta talk really, really fast like an auctioneer and direct pilots to their house land and when to turn. So, and they kept, I was angry, they kept bumping into walls. I couldn't manage to, how painful was that. And I almost got this close into a crash, but you know, everybody was safe. Yeah, thanks. Was it hard to like pick out when it, they were calling your number? It actually was very hard because you have to repeat everything ATC said. So, and, and the hard part I hated was actually doing three sixties for spacing, because you know, like every time I tried to do a touch on those, someone, someone would be like, I don't know, like in front of me, and I'd like have to. Three sixty. Well, that's because you were going too fast, and then everyone else was slower, so you'd catch up to them and like bump them. Yeah, and that's the hard part is to be able to follow the traffic speed because if you weren't, you would crash. If you were too fast, you crash into someone else. And if you were too slow, slow. someone would. Yeah, I think you guys did a really good job. I was particularly impressed with Tino because I know I had a hard time doing the air traffic control portion at the, at the time, at a certain period, and you guys were laughing at me. Because you told me to land. <laughs> 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 twice. He told me to land on a touch and go. Yeah, yeah, I meant to touch and go, but I think Tino handled the situation really well. And after, initially, he had everybody kind of, you know, uh, too close to each other and bumping on the walls and stuff, but eventually he had it flowing pretty but smoothly. What was really confusing is when he would say free for touch and go, I would come in for touch and go without saying the way in the I would say, well, just to do it, the touch and go type of But then I realized after well, a couple of times of doing that, I mean, had to do the way in the checklist to do the touch and go. How many people messed up the checklist? Everybody. No, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You did. Yes. When you yes. landed, when you were supposed Sometimes to touch and go. Sometimes you wouldn't even go. say it. <laughs> yeah, he gave the full stop. <laughs> hey, but let me tell you something. You said hey, Listen, one, one thing you have to realize about air traffic control is that they are going to mis make mistakes. For example, air traffic control has had one airplane wave ready to take off and cleared another one to land, and the other one hasn't even started taking off yet. And yeah, one clip the other. Air traffic control, they make mistakes. So you have to be diligent. You have to, just like when we were flying yesterday, the big picture was figuring out what's going on in the entire airspace around you, like a bubble. Yeah, and when you're flying, you have to be like that because if air traffic control make a mistake, you have to catch it because air traffic control is on the ground in the tower, right? You in the air in an airplane with other airplanes and you got to be watching out for yourself because you they might fire the air traffic controller but you're gonna be dead right and you're gonna lose your plane so I'll be dead. Dead. yeah you know <laughs> so, so lose lose situation yeah, yeah you kind of have to be ready for air traffic control to make a mistake and correct them it's